our data bi sql so uh, today we will continue with the question 35 of uh, the series amazon sql interview questions and uh, this particular uh, question right i would say it's mainly for a basic level question and uh, uh, this kind of questions can be asked uh, mostly in the data analyst uh, you know you can say the job family business analyst data analyst right i mean financial analyst that kind of uh, job family this can be asked very common because this is testing you know a concept of one of the functions that are used and uh, it's a basic level question because you know there is no filtering or there is no uh, only the one of the one of the windows function is used but you should but as a as a data analyst right i mean uh, you are supposed to know that function i mean the, that basic level understanding you're supposed to have like as a data analyst you don't query the table like sorry uh, you query the table uh, right uh, but you don't write the big sql codes uh, sql procedures uh, right sometimes data analysts do but uh, not all the time right so but this kind of knowledge you need to have so let's go through that uh, so there is a table that I have covered in the previous uh, videos as well. So jobs underscore salary underscore dim table, which is basically having a job ID uh, with applicant ID, right? One job can have multiple applicants. One applicant can apply to multiple jobs, right? It makes a multi, it's, it's many to many relationship. Uh, the offer is received for some of the applicants. Some of the applicant accept the offer. Some of them say no. And then what was the salary offered, right? Uh, and then final salary. So salary offer was 130K, for example, and final salary negotiated was 140K. Okay, so uh, it's a pretty simple, straightforward table. So the question is uh, display job IDs and high uh, and highest salary offered for that job ID, right? So what it is telling you is for each of the job ID, right? Uh, what is the highest salary that is offered? Okay, so here are two things. Uh, one thing is the, uh, they are saying salary offered. Okay, so make sure you use salary offered column when you are uh, displaying the job ID, right? And not final salary. It's two different thing, right? I mean, salary offered can can be equal to final salary offered, right? If there's no negotiation taking place, but the final salary could differ from salary offered, right? So just read the question properly. Like I always say, read the read your question, right? I mean. Uh, uh, that's where you will get the clue which one to use and if you don't understand ask the interviewer right i mean salary offered uh, here it is pretty straightforward because they have given the same column name but sometime uh, they might uh, say a different column name in the question right so in that case it's better to clarify and just remember interviewer really like uh, that inter whoever is interviewing clarifies the question they really like that you are interested in the in the interview so uh Right, so that's one thing. And second thing is basically, as I say always, uh, just break down the question into different parts, right? Select, select clause, filter clause, where clause, group by clause, right? So display job ID. So that means you have to display the job ID, right? First of all, select job underscore ID. And then it is saying, and highest salary offer for that job ID, right? So if you see the job ID 10, and you see the highest salary that is offered is 130. There's only one salary, right? Uh, but if you go and take 20 uh, for job number 20, also there is 140. Uh, job number 30, there is 150,000, 130,000, 150,000. That means here 150,000 should come, right? And 40, 170,000 should come because there are two different salaries offered for 50, 130,000 should come, right? So basically you have to identify the highest salary that is offered for that job, right? So what will you use? So in case of the, the highest salary, you can use the max function, right? So there is a function called max that basically gives you the highest salary offered. And similarly, if they're asking minimum salary that is offered, the minimum for that job ID, uh, then you should use min function, okay? So let's use the max, max function max function and what is the column name salary salary underscore offered okay then we need to use from clause right so from jobs underscore salary underscore dim right now uh is this going to work 
this will not work the reason is uh, and if you've seen my other videos right it will give an error must appear in group by clause or use aggregate function right so max is an aggregate function right so you are grouping by job underscore id right because when you use a max function or any aggregate function like sum and count and all you must use group by clause right so because here what you're doing is you are doing you are basically finding that particular max salary at a job id level right so you need to group by that that id right so once you group by that id uh, right then you know you are uh, then you are good right so order by just for our uh, uh, just and this again shows why, why i put order by order by was not needed but that shows that you know you have written the sql before you want to see the things in order right so order by will means it will do 10 10 10 20 30 right i mean it will give you in series if you don't use order by it can give you a random number like 51st and 32nd and things like that okay so let's run this query right so if you see since i did order by it's doing 10 20 30 40 so for each of the function each of the job id it is giving the correct answer right like we saw 30 150 000 was there 40 170 and 50 130 right so if you if you are not going to use order by then see how skewed it is it is basically giving you by salary highest i mean it is not giving any order right i mean but if you use order by then you know it gives you a clear picture of 10 to you know for job number 50 right so it easy to read right so uh, uh, so from from here right like i said it's a basic question uh, they just want to test your uh, knowledge of aggregate functions and they want to test like you know you know uh, writing group by also right so here aggregate function along with group by right that's what will uh, get into the question right now let's say we use min then what it will do it will do the min right so remember for 30 minimum was not 150 30 minimum was 130000 right so that that kind of a question could be asked okay so uh, this is two function max and min uh, that are used to find out the maximum value of the uh, of of the particular column numeric column right uh, in this case salary minimum is a minimum value of the numeric column right so um, that is it for today guys um, uh, please do look out for uh, more videos i plan to upload more videos every week now there was a comment from somebody that uh, you know uh i uh, i did not upload the video frequently but that was like i know uh, uh, at the beginning of the year there were 3 4 months i did not upload but now i am trying to upload i'm trying to upload at least every 2 weeks uh, i want to get to a pace where i upload every week so that i can help all of you right i mean i see that amazon and other tech companies have started opening job opening the jobs lot of jobs right so i'm i'm pretty sure some of you are getting the interview calls uh, Uh, if if you, if you uh, i mean i would i would suggest uh, go and apply to all those jobs right i mean uh, if you are a right fit definitely they'll contact you and then uh, you know my videos will help you uh, with any fang companies right i mean uh, facebook or uh, amazon or microsoft all these questions are are pretty common at a different level right i try to cover different level like beginner um, intermediate advanced level questions and i i really hope uh, this particular videos are helping you guys thank you guys